Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Suzanne Lemonio. The city is putting together a multi-billion dollar makeover for O'Hare Airport. Lauren Victory has that story. This little traveler could be a teen by the time a massive O'Hare overhaul is complete around 2026, an $8.5 billion infusion at Chicago's biggest airport. I'm really excited. I travel here every two weeks, um, so it's always nice to have better amenities here. Negotiations are still underway, but reportedly part of the plan, a teardown of Terminal 2. It's home to Delta and Air Canada right now, but much of its space is unused. So I'm actually through Terminal 2 every week. Uh, compared to other cities in Chicago, I think it's due for an upgrade. A new global terminal with more international flights would replace it. That's in addition to jets going overseas from Terminal 5. Airport officials say the proposal also includes 40 more gates, wider and additional concourses, and renovations to Terminals 1, 3, and 5. You come from New York. Compare yeah. the airports in New York to Chicago. New York, Chicago, New York airport is much better. JFK is much better. They do a lot of flying, and this is this this is going down over the years they should be rebuilt it. Students at Mundelein High School are seeing extra security today after police charged two students with posting threats on social media. A Snapchat post Saturday night warned students not to come to school. Police spoke to a relative of one of the students and determined there was no credible threat, but in light of the recent shooting in Florida, staffers aren't taking any chances. And finally, meteorologist Megan Glaros has your forecast. Hey there everybody, I'm meteorologist Megan Gleros. It's Monday, we've got 52 degrees for the high today. Lots of sunshine out there, 58 degrees on Tuesday. Yeah, almost 60 degrees, beautiful and sunny. That's the first two days of the week. Then we've got mostly cloudy and still in the 50s on Wednesday. A little bit of rain possible Thursday. Thursday, by the way, is the first day of March, so it's also the first day of meteorological spring. Yeah. We're getting that close to the good stuff, but you should probably be able to feel that the first part of the week anyway, considering the fact these first two days are gorgeous. Enjoy, guys.